Greetings all, Francesco here, and I'm here to tell you about my Kickstarter campaign. This is to create uh, a book series called Wednesday Child of Woe. Not the Wednesday you think. This Wednesday is actually far older than the adult Wednesdays. Starting back, 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 back in 1991, 92 with a little game called Fairy. The predecessor to the game called Vampire the Masquerade, which I played. She was actually created then for that game. And then afterwards, in a little 1993 campaign, somebody got on the board of Pentex uh, named Francesco. What a coincidence. I had been knowing the developers of White Wolf and Vampire the Masquerade, Werewolf the Apocalypse, Mage the Awakening, Changeling the Lost, um, back then. And that's where these characters and stories actually came from. At that point in time, the Chronicles of Darkness was not supposed to be the long-lasting, ever-never-ending story that it has become now. It was called Werewolf the Apocalypse for a reason. And there was a pretty good idea of how this world was going to end. That story has never been told. And I believed I now would like to finish telling that story for those who might be interested in uh, what some of the original ideas were for this game. Like I said, I've been playing it all the way back when these ideas were first created so I have a pretty good idea what was happening. I remember when Vampire came out the Sabbath was not supposed to be playable characters. They were all supposed to be NPCs because they were too bestial and crazy to play. Same thing in Werewolf with the Black Spiral Dancers not supposed to be playable until yes I championed hard with Jeff and others and argued when I took over Pentex and they said, so who do you want to be in the game? And I said, I think BSDs should be the same role in Werewolf as the Sabbat is in Vampire. You need a foil and that foil just can't be generic corporate badness. You need to have werewolves that say, hey, I don't like the way things are done here. I want to do things my way. Uh, and that is why one of the preeminent rules of following the worm is we accept everybody. You cannot just be a psychopathic killer. Anybody who chooses to accept the worm or the way of the worm is forgiven and accepted period. That rule seems to have been played down a lot over the years, but it always is mentioned in all of the books that I see it, so, so I'm glad that little addition is there. So yes, I created playable Black Spiral Dancers. You're welcome. And this is there and Wednesday's story. And if I write it all the way to completion, how the world of darkness was the whole arc of how it was supposed to go. I've already written the first six episodes, seven episodes right now, but I haven't self-published it yet. And I think people would be interested in seeing the rest. I have some already done as an audio book, and I have voice actors ready to create the rest of those. I also started converting one of the books. Um, I have already converted the script into a graphic novel and even started doing storyboard illustrations on that. I can do all of this if people are interested. If not, I'll probably just still keep writing it on my own, but it's pretty difficult to do every single thing at, at once. It's actually more difficult to edit and do all of that formatting and stuff like that than it is to actually just write the story down. It's crazy, but true. So I am hoping for your help 
to complete this and other stories of Wednesday, Child of Woe, along with the other characters. And here we got mages, we got black spirals, we got vampires, we got really old vampires too, um, that you would probably be interested to know about. And I hope you do. Please support. Thank you. Bye. <laughs>